I feel you have a connection that ended before it really could even start. This person's been thinking about you deeply and how they could have done things differently, how they could have shot their own foot, and what you think of them now. What I can sense is you, and go with me here, you don't really necessarily think about this person anymore. A long time of your life, you did. And you were infatuated and you, this person was like somebody that really just popped out of your life out of nowhere. You could have met through social media. You could have been at a gathering, a social event, and they just, they just showed up. Mm -hmm. They feel like they shot themselves in the foot. There was assumptions made. What was those, those assumptions about? Yeah, you definitely met through technology. Okay. Your spirit guides guided you to each other through social media and or dating app, etc. They absolutely must have asked around their friends or etc. About what people thought of you. These are collective things that resonate. So for some of you, that your friends are not even connected to them. But for some of you, you guys do have the same... You grew up in the same area, ha have frequent people that know you, yada, yada. You know what I'm trying to state. No matter what anybody has said, something about their soul felt that it was a lie. This is interesting energy. Okay. A lot of people let what other people thought get in the way of you and your connection with them. No matter if they knew you or not, either they ask people, hey, what do you think about this person? They're like, oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Or if they did know you, people would, would absolutely fabricate past events that they experienced with you. They could have known your old friends, they could have known your old co-workers, even an ex, without you even knowing it. And I see somebody like showing a picture of you on their phone to another being, another being and them being like, oh, I know who they are. And instead of diving further and trusting themselves, they instantly trusted what other people state. And it went from you two having this great connection to like a brick wall. And you're not understanding why they went from being so communicative, asking questions about you, hell, using emojis and shit like that. Because we all understand the subtle clues. We all understand the subtle clues of emoji, what type of emojis being used, how you're typing things out. It changed. You noticed it. and it, But nothing between you two happened. Puzzle pieces started coming together. What I see is an individual... Realizing that I, I didn't listen to my heart. I didn't listen to my emotions. I let other people have the power over my mind, my intuition. This person was very deceived about you. But that's the thing. People can say what they want left, right, and center about any person. If you don't trust yourself, you're not going to be able to trust another person. What I see is they have cried tears and your tears have became frozen. While their tears are going, you've already cried about this person. You always, you always knew that there was something more between you two. But that you had to let it go. You were no longer waiting around for this person. You were no longer allowing yourself to think, if I would have done this, I would have done that. There is nothing different you could have done because it all stemmed down to this person's self-trust. They could trust what other people said more than their own intuition. I can feel how angry they, they are at themselves for that. You were like the one person 
that they could see almost like a future right before their eyes change. They had talked to other people, been in other relationships, and just felt like this sense of this is pushing us along. You, it was like full downloads. So it was also paired with uh, like the ability to, they almost felt like you were in their brain. The things you would, you would bring up and speak, they were literally thinking. And they're like, what the fuck? How does this person know what's going on? How does this person know the right thing to say or when something's happening to me? Because you're connected, you didn't know you were doing these things. I see that they're very intimidated by your career and the attention you receive as well. It's okay. Also, so now if we're because these are collective tears where resonates, if they were talking to people or etc. that never even knew you, and it was more about them getting their opinion, so then they showed their phone a picture of you, etc. What I'm seeing now is a person being like, they're a player. That look at them, they're absolutely playing you. They probably have so many other people they're talking to. They get all this attention, just complete insecurity shining through those individuals having to think there's something up with you when in reality you are exactly who you say you are and i see that somebody they were deeply talking to about you a friend or etc was in love with them there's been something that's happened in your time of separation where they realized this person that was a best friend that they were asking for advice from and taking their word as stone or whatever really only had their best interest, not your person's. They constantly were trying to get into their head about so many different things because they wanted to be with your person. And things clicked. And they realized, holy shit, you've tried to you've just been deceiving me because you were in love with me. I know it's like it's not every single time that happens. This reading, this person, there was one who was hoping and hoping and hoping for years or etc. that there was a potential of them being able to weed out distractions till the day that your person and them would be together. And it looks like that time, that realization that that's what was trying to happen, what they were trying to do, has now been completely downloaded by the person in this reading connected to you. So now, they're like, is it even worth going back to you? You're spiritually protected, so understand. If this person tries to reach back out to you or etc., they've already, in a sense, passed a certain point of protection with your guides. There are certain individuals who will never step foot back into your life and won't even be able to meet up with you because you're so protected by them. Spirit won't allow an individual that has like malevolent will or something they want from you feel even comfortable enough to be in your presence. That's why there's been so many people and you wonder, we wonder why can people just let go of me so easily? That's what you used to think in the past. That's not what it is. They literally were made to feel like, don't come back to my person. Your guide's saying, don't come back to my person. We are protecting them. You have served the purpose. Now you go the other way. And you may there may be some people that you actually would have been pissed at your guides at that moment for doing that too. You're like, why would you send them away? Because we knew what cause and effect would happen if they stayed in your life. We weren't going to let that happen. You have freedom of will, but if we can detour people, we're going to detour them away to the point where you see there's a better way forward. I sense... This person's seeing you as truly the one I want to go to. You have told the universe, send me whoever is meant for me. I am no longer chasing. I am attracting. But also when something is attracted to me, I am ready to give balance, give and take. I do not make people chase me. I do make people meet me. And I do make people prove to me, but I don't make them chase me. 
they are going to be reaching out to you. And Spirit says, have an open heart. I'm not saying to just throw everything out and not talk about what needs to be talked about. But you and this person have something deeper. And really what I'm hearing, again, with this situation, with this person, it's worth it to hear them out. The presentation, the way they speak to you, and their actions following are really what's going to matter. So listen, hear them out, and stay okay. I feel like there's something still here, whether it's a friendship or love, etc. There's still something here between us, and I'm going to let it flow. I'm going to allow you back into my life, but we're going to take slow and steady wins the race, and we're going to see what goes from there. You do that. Watch leaps and bounds that this person will take to be with you. And I don't mean that in a chasing way. I mean truly the guidance, the aha moments, the epiphanies with their own life about if somebody really loves you and you separate from them and you find their way back or if you find your way back to them, etc. because... Again, everything's situational. Sometimes you just let things go. And if they find their way back to you, you know they were truly meant for you. And in some certain sense, some certain, some circumstances where you deflected, you ran away from a person or they ran away from you, just understand my representation. If you ran away from a person because of fear, because of what ifs, and you finally have this aha, this realization, that's why I did all of that. If you find your way back to them, aka them finding their way back to you, honest, open communication, talking about reality, giving full authenticity, they will allow you back. The law of attraction is not one way. There are times when you know you are the one to perform actions and then there are times you know you're the one that actions have to be performed too. In this situation, I feel a person calling to you. There is nothing you have to do. There is nothing for you to do. In fact, Spirit says, let this thought go. Go about your day. Focusing on what makes you happy, your responsibilities, taking care of yourself, and allow this person to be guided to you at the perfect moment where you two have the time to talk to each other. When there's no outside distractions, they're taking a leap of faith to you and understand it's a lot for this person. They only step forward, literally just drive forward, allow the green lights to proceed. You don't have to plan too far ahead. Just simply know you are ready for them and they are finding their way to you. That's what I got for y'all today. And we're going to talk about, let's go ahead and talk about Twitch. Over on Twitch, every single stream, I give away a free tarot reading. All you must simply do is be following me on Twitch at Uncle Bond's Official and watch the active stream to put in the keyword of the chat, which is what enters you into the giveaway. I, my, stream, my stream schedule is Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at anywhere between 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I log on, and then I stay on for about two to three hours. And then randomly throughout the week when I have free time, etc., I'll go, I'll go on at night time. Uh, but those three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, are set in stone, if you will. If you're interested in joining us, come chill, come vibe. We play video games. We hang out. It's a way to have not only our 5D and our spiritual selves hang out and understand, but also our 3D, our, our mundane, our human selves. It's fun. And yeah, 
That is Twitch at Uncle Franz Official. Lastly, also I'd like to talk about is I am an affiliate with G Fuel. If you go to gfuel.com and you use my code MatthewRamos1 at checkout, you're going to receive a discount on your order. And you're also going to be supporting me directly. G Fuel is awesome. I've been drinking G Fuel for years. It is a energy drink that has no crashes, 15 calories. It helps with so much. And there's so many different types of flavors. I'm telling you, pick your, pick yourself up some G Fuel and see what all the hype is about. Go to gfuel.com, use my code Matthew Ramos1 at checkout and go from there. That's what I got for y'all today and I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.